So with the vertical grading editor still open, we're going to go back to the design constraints tab. In there, we now have a single design constraint. So if we wanted to make any changes to this constraint, we simply click on the pull down, choose the constraint, and then we make an edit to it and then click apply. We can also hit the delete button to remove the constraint entirely. That will also remove it from the design data form. We're going to make sure that the type is still saying project design code. If it's not, just click on the pull down and choose it there. Then we're going to click on the little plus symbol and we're going to give it the following name. Once we've done that, we're going to click OK. Again, the software will pre-populate all of the cells for us to go in and edit. So we're going to ignore the change range for the time being. And then where we have string, we're going to go ahead and pick GR for grading string building platform. Now again, we're in a position where we can go and pick codes for that particular um, string. But in this case, we're just interested in seeing the elevations of the center line. So we're going to leave that at CL. Once we've done that, we're just simply going to click apply. As soon as we do that, a red line will appear because we've got our upper color is set at red. You can change that if you need. But this red line depicts the elevation of the center line of our building platform. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is to just simply move or restore down the vertical grading editor and move this to one side. We need to show you what happens if you have differing elevations along a string. This particular string is a very good example of what can happen when you project design constraints. So at the moment, the software is picking up the elevations of the center line at the front of the building and also at the back of the building. So it will basically keep going for about a thousand meters at the moment. Now, what can happen is if you've got differing elevations, you'll end up with a different looking design constraint on the vertical grading editor. And to show you how this might happen, I'm going to open up the vertical grading editor for the grading string. And just at the back of the design, I'm just going to move along to the back corner here. I'm going to change this elevation. Okay, so I'm simply going to add half a meter. Make this 0.5 and then click on the little add icon to make this 43. All I'm going to do is just move the vertical grading editor to one side and then hit refresh on the constraint. What you're now seeing is the software picking up the front of the building at an elevation of 42.5 and also, at this particular location, it's picking up the back of the building as it begins to change its elevation to 43. So this is why you may see this zigzag effect happening on your design constraints. This will only happen with strings that are basically being picked up twice in the same projection. A string that connects back onto itself is typically where this would happen. So what I'm going to do is simply move the VG back again and to resolve this, we have a cell in the vertical grading editor with the constraint, which will allow you to determine how far the software should look at this particular string. Now, if I just um, type in here 20, which is 20 meters, and then click apply, you'll see that the software is only searching 20 meters now from the profile string. So in reality, this is only going about, and I'm just going to draw a circle here to show you, if I type in 20, it's just picking up the frontage here and here. Okay, so that's how far it's now looking. So it won't be picking up any of the elevations across the, this particular part of the string or the back of the string. This is how you can resolve the issue of where you may see zigzags appearing on the constraint and hopefully understand as to why they are happening. Because it's going to make the vertical grading editor full screen. Now we're going to add a constraint which will allow us to add slopes projecting from the existing road centerline onto our profile string. 